Lance, today I thought I'd hit you with something that everybody loves. Something that everyone's interested in. We're going to be taking a look at some of the stupidest tweets sent out from footballers' accounts. Like these actually tweeted this and you're not going to believe it. With all the recent controversy over the Andre Gray stuff, I thought it'd be a good idea to build a whole team around him. It just goes to show Andre Gray's not the only one who sent out crazy tweets back in the day. There's a whole squad of them. Now, I've done a similar video to this before. I did footballers' funniest tweets, and that went down amazing. So I've tried to include a squad full of different players this time, and some of these are even worse. Like, you're in for a shock. I can't, but th there's actually racist people in this team. People have tweeted racist shit. It's going to blow your head off. Just wait and see. And we're going to begin starting us off in goal with good old Ben. Ben Foster. You know what? I didn't actually know this guy had a sense of humour until I saw some of the tweets that he's done. Starting with this one back in September 2013 where he sent out a tweet saying, I swear if I catch my son dancing behind a reporter on Sky like these kids, I'm going to two-foot him. I mean, just imagine being Ben Foster's son. You're actually on your way to the deadline to stand behind the camera. And you see this tweet, you'd run the opposite way. And just if you thought that was a one-off by Ben Foster, no. He also tweeted back in 2014, so the missus is trying to get me to watch hashtag Magic Mike. She can do one. And if she wants a bit afterwards, she can also do one. This guy! This, this dude, what? Next up, we've got the legend himself, Robert Hoof. And we all know this guy isn't shy of a funny tweet. And guess what? He's back with more tweets. This one, going full John Terry today, hashtag full kit, hashtag LCFC. Now, it doesn't take a genius to work out what he means. Hashtag full kit, going John Terry. I'm pretty sure he's implying that John Terry is a wanker. Robert Hoof also shared his feelings with Luis Suarez on Twitter as he tweeted, still maintain that crying on the pitch should warrant a three match ban. Robert Hoof, I tell you right now, this guy has no chill. Zero, zero chill. If you piss him off, he'll tweet. And just if you thought that was bad, no. Ashley Cole went full. Nah, 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 nah. If there's zero chill, then there's minus zero chill. Ashley Cole went full zero. Full minus. I don't know what he went. Listen to this. Back in 2012, when Ashley Cole had an incident with the FA, he actually went onto his Twitter account, typed, ha, 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 ha. Well done, hashtag Effie. I lied, did I? Hashtag bunch of twats. <laughs> no! And the most stupidest thing about this whole tweet is he actually thought he was going to get away with it. He tried deleting it. Bro, as soon as you send out a tweet, 50 million people are going to screenshot and save it. You ain't going to get away from Twitter. And finally, to complete the defense, is a crazy one from Steven Taylor. Make this how you want to make it. Take this how you want to take it. Racist or not, I don't know. But this is a pretty bizarre thing for Taylor to tweet. Did he think people weren't going to take this the wrong way? I didn't take much offense. I thought it was quite funny. But I know there's a lot of black people out there who would want to kill him. Now, I promise you, this isn't Photoshop. You can go out there and find this tweet yourself. Steven Taylor tweeted back to four of his teammates, Hydera, Sizoko, Papi Cisse, and Vernon. It's always good to see you guys smiling. Yo! Now that is no chill to the max. What the f Yeah, what? After seeing that again, I don't know whether I do actually take effect. Look how black that one guy is. And moving on to our midfield, what would be a team of funny tweets, crazy tweets without Dali Ali? This guy's whole Twitter account is just one big joke. From 2012 to 2013, the amount of tweets that this guy sent out is just hilarious. And I'm going to show you some right now. Let's start off with this tweet sent from Dali Ali back in June 2012. <laughs> Adele might set fire to rain, but SpongeBob can make a campfire underwater. No fucking way. <laughs> Someone give this guy an MBE award. 
That is just great. And just when you thought Deli Ali couldn't get any funnier, oh, trust me, this guy is the banter king. He also tweeted Microsoft bought Skype for $8.5 billion. LOL, idiots! They could have just downloaded it for free. And partnering him in probably the most epic midfield ever is Emmanuel Frimpong. And we all know this guy is a joker. Frimpong back in 2013 thought it was funny to tweet from his account. Sometimes I wish I was white and English. Hashtag real talk. Now don't get me wrong, Frimpong is an absolute legend. But I have no idea what he was thinking when he tweeted that. And then of course one of Frimpong's most famous tweets is when he first joined Barnsley. And he tweeted, how am I going to draw girls now? That is just Frimpong in a nutshell. He said it how it is. How is he going to go from Arsenal to Barnsley and draw girls now? No one knows. And over on the right, of course, we have got Saido Benahino. And this guy went on an all-out Twitter rampage. When he couldn't get his own way, he literally threw every dummy out of the pram. He went on a mad one. First off, if you lot can remember back in September 2015, last year... Berahino tweeted, sad how I can't say exactly how the club has treated me, but I can officially say I will never play Jeremy Peace. Yo, he was pissed off, and I don't know why he would take to Twitter and tweet that, because we know how the story went. He went to go on and play for West Brom. Moving on up to our centre attack in midfield is, unfortunately, you're going to have to take one for the team, just because you're black and your second name is Cole. And Carlton Cole isn't on the game, so Lanel, you're gonna have to take one for him. Now, funny enough, if you lot can remember back a few years ago, Carlton Cole tweeted some absolute ludicrous shit on Twitter. I don't know what goes through some footballers' heads when they tweet the sort of things they tweet and think they're gonna get away with it. Carlton Cole actually tweeted, immigration has surrounded the Wembley premises. I knew it was a trap. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Haha! <laughs> wow! The only way to get out safely is to wear an England jersey and paint your face with a St George's flag. To my Ghanaian brothers, don't take it so seriously, it's just jokes. You played well, done Africa so proud. Bruh! Yeah, no! That no! You didn't think you were going to get away with that, surely not. I'm not being funny, like, you can say that to your mates in a joke, but when you go and put stuff like that on Twitter, you're going to get in trouble. And then finally, on to our last two players who've tweeted some pretty controversial shit. We've got Andre Gray, of course, all over the news this week, and then, of course, we've got Darren Bent, who did a very cheeky little tweet that a lot of you would definitely not have seen. This one almost got under the radar until I found out about it. And now I'm going to expose you, Bent. After that crazy beach ball game when Sunderland actually beat Liverpool, when Rainer got outdone by a beach ball and a football, he went cockeyed and didn't know which way the ball went and it resulted in a goal, the next day, Darren Bent took to Twitter and no joke, he actually, you can go and search this yourself, tweet it out. Morning, peeps. I might go to the beach today. Lol. Ha. Ha. <laughs> Nigga, do you have a Death wish. Do you want to get killed by these crazy scousers? Because I'm telling you, they're nuts. Now, if that ain't rubbing you Liverpool fans' faces completely in dog shit and smothering it all over the wall, I don't know what is. If I was Darren Bent that day, I would have honestly just logged out of Twitter and stayed away for at least a month. And finally, to complete the team, it is the main man. Andre Gray. Now let me warn you, this guy has sent out some absolutely crazy tweets back in the day. And we're going to take a look at some of them, starting with the crazy one that he got done for the other day. Is it me or are they gays everywhere? Hashtag burn, hashtag die, hashtag makes me sick. Can we just have a moment for Andre Gray because this guy has no chill. He also tweeted out, ladies, stop dressing your sons as women in heels and makeup. Do you want him to end up like hashtag Pete Burns? Yo! No chill! And then finally, I know I shouldn't laugh, but this is actually quite funny. 
black girls with red lipstick. It's like burnt toast with jam on it. No, no. Hashtag leave it yet. No, yo. Andre Gray is j I don't know if he had a death wish or this guy is just nuts, but some of the tweets that him and the rest of the people in the team have sent out are just crazy. Now before I end the video, lads, I do want to say one thing. I did, of course, make the team around Andre Gray, considering he has been the guy in the headlines recently over his tweets. But him, just like the rest of the team, they're just humans. If you go back and look at some of my tweets from three, four, five years ago, I've said some stuff that I regret. I've said some stuff that I don't mean, and I am sorry. Andre Gray is obviously sorry, and the rest of the team, you know what, you're just human, you're not a robot. You do say things that you regret, and people need to respect that. Everyone makes mistakes back in the day, and everyone deserves a second chance. So before you go out there abusing the footballers, giving them a load of grief about their old tweets, just remember, you have probably said something on Twitter that you regret as well. Nobody's perfect. Trust me. But now that being said, lads, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If there's a tweet that I've missed out, please remember to leave it in the comments below. Also, if you have enjoyed today's video and you want to see a part three of this, remember to leave it a thumbs up, lads. As usual, hope you've enjoyed and I'll speak to you all next time. Peace. A little look at this. I don't even know where to start with this. He's 40 yards out and he gives it bang. <laughs> the keeper didn't even move. Oh, Paulinho. Wow, Tottenham must have been twisting in their graves.